I'm going to show you how to use the XP Single Blade Skyver. The XP Single Blade Skyver comes with six XP7, XP8 belt stops and six XP3, XP5 belt stops. We're going to be skiving for an XP7 fastener, so we're going to use the XP7, XP8 belt stops. The XP Single Blade Skyver can skive covers up to 10 millimeters depth in a single pass and up to belt thicknesses up to 50 millimeters. Take caution when handling the skiver as the blade is open. The skiver has four main components. The drive handle, which drives the gears that engage the bed. The mounting brackets, which mount the tool onto the bed. The blade adjustment handle to adjust the depth of the blade. And the pressure plate adjustment handle to adjust the skiver to the corresponding belt thickness. Let's go skive a belt. First we want to insert the belt stops onto the bed, making sure we space them evenly for the belt width. Then we'll insert the belt into the bed, making sure we butt the belt end all the way securely against the belt stops. And then we'll tighten the frame. I've already preset the skiver to skive two millimeters depth off the top cover. We're going to insert the skiver onto the bed using the mounting brackets and engage the gears with the drive handle. We're going to position the skiver two inches over the belt making sure it doesn't come in contact with the blade. And we're going to set the pressure plate to that belt thickness. And then we're going to start skiving that top cover, making sure the sky portion stays under the handle. The direction of operation is left to right. If for some reason you feel binding or the skive becomes difficult, reverse the operation and take the skiver off to inspect it for loose or damaged components and making sure you're not skiving in the carcass. As the skive continues, note that the belt stops will continue to fall off the bed. And that's how we skive with the XP Single Blade Skiver.